And welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our Skyrim Chronicle. I just began the countdown timer. And we are going, we are trying to harvest uh, Briarheart. So we are going to climb the red, I think it's called the Red Cliff Ascent. Okay. Oh, that one got through. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and trip this. Interesting. Alright, what do we have over here? Elkide. I don't need Elkide. I, I would have taken the antlers. And fly Amantia. White cap. That's a trap. Another one. Okay. Things are going smoothly. Walked right over the trap. Uh, just curiosity, no. Okay. Continuing up. So again, we, we were able to pick up the uh, powdered mammoth tusk in the last episode. And we're doing all this, we need blood too of several different races. We're doing all this to satisfy the quest that Septimus sent us on in order to create something that looks like a copy of Dwemer blood to unlock uh, whatever contraption it is that he's working with, this box. There's no more Dwemer left, so we have to trick the box. The box requires Dwemer blood to unlock. So we're going to create an approximation of it. And I guess I guess he does that using uh, samples of all this other different kinds of blood. I'm not exactly sure how that all works. That makes me think that there's a little bit of Dwemer blood in all these different races, but I've never known any kind of um, fantasy lore that suggested and that everybody came from dwarves. Uh, maybe I'm wrong there. I'm not the biggest... I'm not the most knowledgeable in these areas, you know. Is someone there? Never should have come here. Oh! Ha! Ah! Yeah. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> I'm at 266 pounds, 286, so we're filling up fast. Thought I heard something. Oh man, they they get hit so hard. 
I'm very close to being at weight cap. Oh man, she handled him. Lydia. Even Lydia's one shotting people. I'm right behind you. I need to trade. Or oh, she's got an arrow in her throat. I didn't realize I gave you all this stuff. You're probably maxed out. Okay, I'm at, man, I'm at 345. We really can't take much else, so I can't really loot anything else except the Briar Heart. Uh, somebody else had an arrow. There's an archer up here somewhere. Oh, I could have sworn I saw an arrow come flying my way. What was that? Huh? Oh man, he caught a mace straight to the grill there. Okay, this is a problem. Uh oh, we don't want to get hit by that. Oh, you got any more of those? She might be important. No, she is not. She's just powerful. Briarheart? No. I think a Briarheart is a class also. Don't they wear headdresses or something? Uh, how are you enjoying Deflect Arrows? I'm sorry, Buxy. I, I didn't look and check chat there for a while. Um, I think it's neat. I like watching the arrows bounce off the shield. And it appears you still take a, a little bit of damage because I can hear my guy grunt when he gets hit. But it mitigates most of it. Oh, that's right. And Buxy, I was able to... Because I leveled up off screen, we now have... That one you were telling me to get. Elemental protection. Blocking with a shield reduces incoming fire, frost, and shock damage by 50%. So that's like kind of stupid OP. I'm surprised that they gave that much of a percentage. I think we're probably still going to need to go. Yeah, up here is where we're. That's our ultimate goal. Let's see, is climb up that way? No. Climb up this way, I think. Yes. Okay, it might be a timing thing. I can't just hold it up. Ah, see? I don't know if you saw it, but it deflected that arrow. Lydia got the kill shot there. <laughs> okay, eagle's right. Find red eagle's sword. I guess we'll grab that. And then this guy should have the briar heart. I guess we'll grab... Oh, well, there's Red Eagle's sword. And give me the Briar Heart. Unlock the secret of Red Eagle's tomb. I'm really interested in the difference Elemental Perk makes. Fought a dragon yet? No. No, I have not. But I've also noticed that... Um, with my method of dragon fighting... Let's say I'm facing a dragon right here. So his snout is facing me. 
when these dragons land, what I do is I sidestep and I get right in. Let's say his body is here. This is where his wings are. I get in at the base of his neck. So where, the, where, where his neck is skinny before his wings. And I just stay in that blind spot. And I notice that he has a really hard time snapping at me or hitting me with magic. He just can't crane his neck like that. And, and I'm out of the way of his wing buffet. And, of course, I'm not getting hit by his shield. So, um, I don't know how useful it is for dragons because I seem to have mitigated that for the most part. I just did the same mistake again. I keep calling my horse whenever I have my weapons out. Sorry, kitchen things. What was it you said was a timing thing? Arrow damage is 85% mitigated. Well... I'm talking about the deflecting of the arrow. It seems... Let me get off this horse first. I'm, I'm hung up because I keep making this mistake. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, stay away from the tail and jaws. Let me go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, reset my tools. Okay. When I'm charging somebody with an arrow, if I, if they're off by this pillar and I'm trying to close the distance and I hold my shield up, it seems like I don't get a deflection. The arrow goes through and I hear my guy grunt. But if I'm charging and I kind of watch them draw their arrow and then I guess at when they're going to release it and then I throw my shield up, there seems to be like a spectrum of time there that as long as I'm within that window of tolerance, then um, that's when you see the arrow deflect off and my, my guy does not grunt at all. Dragon breath will be mitigated with a perk. Ah, okay. So let me stow these. Was I out of charge? Yes. Oh, because I stored my, uh, I need to start remembering that. What's in the sack? Give you everything I can. Go back to the sack. Go over here. I need to grab this uh, black star. There we go. Okay. I don't really need to loot everything. So. Got it. Thank you for the demo. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we're going to move to white run and sell stuff that I am able to sell. Wonder if elemental perk thing. Uh, timing. Or can just hold block that's something that we'll have to test out that's a good question and something else that Joa was wondering about is that uh, there's an elemental I think it's called the spell shield there's a shield that mitigates damage by 50% from magic and he wonders if it'll double up so that I'm completely Hello, immune to magic the finest weapons and armor Okay, actually, you know, before doing this, Good luck out there. I want to get everything from my horse, and then I need to smelt, because iron and stuff, I need that for hearth fire. I need all the iron I can get for hearth fire, it seems. Okay, is everything stowed? It is, so I can call my horse. Ah, and I think I know, too. Rather than spending time in the episode selling all this stuff, I think we'll stow it in the Breezewood home. What's in the sack? Give me everything. Okay, so I have to slow walk. 
Oh, and Lydia needs to give me everything, too. I'm at your service. And give me all that. And then I need to give her back. Stuff like, well, she doesn't need the septum either. Oh, there's the old ring I used to wear. It was 15% and 20%. Okay, moving over to here, she needs to have the elven bow. Oh, actually, I think the glass bow's better. Darn it. Give me this back. Let me take a look at that. Elven does 14, glass does 17. Give her the glass bow and uh, give her... I guess I'll give her the steel arrows, because I hardly ever use arrows. I'll keep the uh, ebony arrows. Okay. And eventually I'll give her potions also, but... This is one of the things I'm learning while doing... Usually in my first chronicle of a game, I kind of learn... Okay, what do I need to be doing on screen and what do I not need to be doing? Joa and I talked about Spellbreaker. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. So I know that we had been talking about that earlier in the game, because that's the way that I knew what Spellbreaker was. But then uh, the last time I was streaming when you had to go and Joa stuck around and I was going to do... I decided not to push the main quest because I wanted to wait for you. So I was just going to do some off-screen stuff. That's when Joa asked about Spellbreaker again. Uh, because that's whenever I got that perk. So he was wondering, I wonder if these two things together will equal 100% mitigation. Okay, I should have a barrel I can, sh I can store everything in. Here we go. Well, let's just use this chest over here. And I'll, I'll do all that selling and smelting and stuff. I'll do that off screen. And, uh, as I say, that's, that's kind of the stuff that I learn as I go in, in the first playthrough. I don't know why I didn't store all of this. Let's go here. I can't get rid of that. I keep this. I'll stow this. No, I can't. It's locked by a quest. Okay. Go to here keep all of that not the minor knight I need to check Lydia and see if she's got that on her go to here give that while taking back the briar heart give me the briar heart and give me I'm gonna need that powdered tusk it won't equal a hundred percent okay Essence. Mammoth Tusk Powder. Okay. And I think that's... Uh... Can I store this? Discerning the Transmundane. I'm at 124 pounds. I'll just keep this stuff. All right, yes, but you, friend. you need that ring. I'm at your service. Or do you have another ring on? Oh, you've got another one. I just so that was the second one that I picked up. Okay, I here we go. We are done with that. Uh, Spellbreaker is a ward spell. It will break after a certain. After a certain number of points of damage. Example, Zenith has 84% magic resist. That would take Fire Frost 100 damage down to 16. Then my boots would mitigate 40% of that 16 points. Yeah, I follow. Okay, gotcha. So it's an order of operations. Like with math. You, you, you take your... 
your magical resist is applied first, and then whatever your your answer is to that equation, your next percentage of mitigation, like your equipment, will apply to that. How are we looking? Okay, we're, we've got our equipment stowed. Well, not that I need to get onto this mount. We need to fast travel. Let me make sure I have my quest, the right quest activated. All right, I have these left. Do I have quest markers up? No. Oh, that's because I was doing my my bad. My bad. I just got mixed up. We're doing this in the background. Repairing the files what I was working on. Take a forsworn heart. I have one on me, I thought. Oh, I have a briar heart. That's different. So then, well, my bad. We still have, we didn't get the thing that I came for over here. I need a Forsworn Heart, not a Briar Heart. Oh. Huh? I guess we go in here. This door is barred from the other side, okay. I hear a dragon. Oh man, did I keep my... Doggone it! Oh, I'm frustrated. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. I gotta get my... Azura Star. Zenith has illusion cost reduction totaling over 50% and perks for 50%, but I don't have zero cost, right? Took me ages to work out why. And I need my uh, soul gems also. So give me... There we go. Do I have... Yeah, see, I don't have any of my potions. I really am kind of a... Uh, one thing at a time kind of person. I don't multitask well. I've, it's something I've worked on my whole life. I believe everybody has strengths and weaknesses, and you should work on your natural weaknesses. And for me, that's multitasking. So whenever I say I don't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, I mean, that's hyperbolic, but it's a catchphrase that really is pretty... It can be pretty accurate. All right, here we go. I think I have everything on me that I'm supposed to have now. Huh? Oh. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? No, I should have the key on me. I have... I didn't get rid of any of my keys. So I have that, uh... The key that that boss dropped. I don't know if I need to go in there or not. Also don't know how to get up, uh, how to get on the other side of this cliff. Oh, there's that dragon that I heard earlier. 
off in the distance flying around that tower. He's big. That wingspan is impressive. Okay. Uh, this might hurt a little bit. I can billy goat down this thing. Okay, made it. I'm not interested in looting these bodies or what's left up at the top. I have... Uh, plenty of stuff to sell. You can see that I'm kind of low on gold. That's because I bought training in alchemy and that that was very expensive. Okay, so the arrow brings me To this guy. I guess I'll grab the glass. That sells well. I don't know what to do with him. Do I need to equip the essence extractor? Use. Press E to use. I don't... Hmm, this, this bothers me. I'm not doing something right. Is there another entrance? Maybe I need to go into here. Take his heart. Ingredients? Yeah, I have... He gave me the briar heart. But look at this. We are looking for a forsworn heart. Not a briar heart. And it says that has not been accomplished. And whenever I bring up my quest compass, it brings me right to him. But he doesn't have that on him. And, oh, maybe... Oh, I have his body open. I switch over to target. I hover over essence extractor. Press E. Quest item locked by discerning the transmundane. I don't know if that worked. Maybe the heart is on an altar. Buxy says maybe it's on the altar. I just, it really disturbs me that the quest marker takes me right to him. No, it's not there. I want to go in here. That sounded like a trap. No, I don't need that.
timer. Yeah, that quest is bugged. I had the same problem. Oh, this is Joa. I had to put a command to complete the quest. If you search the quest on Google, most people have this problem, so you might have to do the same. Okay. Let's uh, check this. Okay, nothing there. Come back over this way. Get up to the top. Okay, so we got everything from in here. Look back at quests. Unlock the secret of uh, Red Eagle's tomb. Give me just a second. I'm about to end this episode. Okay. Okay, let's reset that back to... I'm not too interested in this quest. I just thought we might have been in the vicinity of it. Let's go ahead and save this and uh, with the stream, but not recording, I'm going to see if I can look up how to uh, unbug this thing. And then in the next recording, if I'm able to solve that, then I'll tell you how I did it. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thanks for coming by this channel. I hope you like what you saw. There we go. Save. And I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.